Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Monday on FIBA 22 Ultimate Team. We are starting this new week. And just like I used to do last year with the Market Outlook videos, I wanna kinda start that up again this year. I have not been doing that consistently and I really enjoyed those, right? So I'm gonna start on Mondays having these videos that kinda look throughout this next week. And that's what we're gonna do a little bit today is we're gonna look at the first half of the video, talk about this next week in FIFA, right? With Road to the Knockouts going out of packs on Wednesday. Are we gonna see the market continue to drop? In short, the answer is yes. What could be happening today on Monday, maybe tomorrow on Tuesday into this week, maybe even shed some light on later on in the week to Friday. And of course, talk about even this morning on Monday, what could be happening because we have foot champs rewards, a lot of market movements, a ton of ones to watch cards and informs moved on the market yesterday on Sunday. And I want to talk about those price movements so that you know how to make coins off those. I was able to make some coins off of the Salah inform panic selling yesterday and even right now making some coins off of ones to watch cards that were actually sold off after they had a good performance. So I want to talk about that a little bit in this video as well. But let's start from the top, right? Let's start from the top. What's going to be happening this week in FIFA? Of course, we have ourselves Road to the Knockouts team number two. We had the full mini release, right? So we have a total of 15 players in packs right now after Immobile, Renan Lodi, Arnold, and Mele. That's the, I call him the mailman, uh, the Danish right back in the Serie A. Uh, my guy is an absolute beast, by the way. Um, we have those cards added into packs. So now we have a total of 15 cards into packs until Wednesday, right? Of course, this week, I'm not expecting anything crazy. The only thing we're a little bit unsure about is this pack right here. A guaranteed team of the week player from week one to week five. I think this is going to come out this week. Uh, and I really am curious to see how EA prices this. I'm really curious to see how they price this because so many informs are at discard. Uh, and, and what I want to talk about with this a little bit as is whenever this comes out this week, there's going to be panic selling and there's also going to be rebounds in price because people are going to panic sell informs from team of the weeks like Salah, like he was already panic sold. Kimmich, Vinicius is actually down right now. Guys from team of the week too, like Gabriel Jesus, uh, Barella, Zakaria, Jesus Navas. People are going to sell these higher rated and higher tier informs, Sonaldo, Foden. They're going to be selling those cards when they see this SBC drop because they're going to be worried about those cards getting packed from this SBC. But I'm telling you right now, unless EA changed something, these packs are never, ever that good. Yes, they're repeatable. And yes, one out of like a million people is going to hit an inform that is higher rated than like 85, right? With these packs not having an 81 or an 82 or an 83 plus reward from them, what you see is a lot of the cards you're going to see people pack from this SBC are going to be these 78, 79, you know, maybe some 81 rated informs from this pack. So this pack right here really to me is not going to do much for the market. I know there's a lot of people waiting on this. It's just going to supply untradeable informs if they make this uh, untradeable. There might be a tradable version and an untradeable version. I think the squad requirements going to be higher this year for this because right now 83s are like 900 coins. And that would make this SBC like basically the same price of a discard inform to do. And if that's how it is, then people are going to be spamming this on repeat, trying to hit some of those high tier cards and it's going to drain coins off the market. But for today on Monday, I wouldn't be surprised if they drop this SBC and also the 75 plus player pick that we had last Monday as a part of week one of Road to the Knockouts. Now, the reason I think we're getting the 75 plus pack today is because during Ones to Watch, we had the 78 plus upgrade pack released two weeks in a row. Both of the Mondays of the Ones to Watch promo, we had that pack released. Last Monday, we had the 75 plus player pick. A lot of you guys crafted cards like Inaki Williams, the Fofana, uh, while the, that player pick was out. And these cards, these SBCs came right after that player pick being out. Uh, I really think that today on Monday, we're going to see that 75 plus player pick released again. And I think that is going to drop the market more this week. That's going to take more coins off of this game. Of course, throughout the week, we're going to have more supply through a few promo packs. The, of course, the preview packs that are there and probably a couple of pack supply SBCs. Now, one thing that we don't have this week is we're not going to have UEFA marquee matchup. So I wouldn't be worried about a big drop on Tuesday like we had last week because we won't have these marquee matchups. We'll just have our normal marquee matchups uh, on Thursday. Uh, of course, 
with the end of this Road to the Knockouts promo coming, I don't really expect any more SBC players as well. Uh, I think that since we have gotten Politano and Bernardo Silva, if we were going to get another SBC player, I believe that it would drop uh, today. And I just think since it's the second week of the promo, if you remember from the second week of Ones to Watch, Tuesday, Wednesday, were, Thursday even, were pretty quiet days as they led into the Road to the Knockouts promo. So even though this week might be kind of quieter in terms of content, you know, maybe the Team of the Week SBC and the player picks spicing things up, um, I'm not expecting anything drastic, right? Because the second week content-wise of these two-week promos is always a little bit slower, but I still think the market's going to drop off. Again, with supply just controlling this game at the moment, your gold cards continuing to drop down from the amount of supply. I mean, this Yunmin Sun card to begin the weekend was 300,000 coins. Even with the Premier League being hyped up right now with the Bernardo Silva SBC, a lot of people buying links to that card, this Sonaldo is still 220,000 coins. He dropped off like 80K in a week. Now, I don't think you're going to see as drastic of drops, uh, throughout the week this week. But I do think that if you're somebody who's looking to buy a team again, if you're selling your team this morning on Monday, which in my opinion wouldn't be that bad of a shout, especially if you have gold cards in your team, I think most gold cards are going to continue to drop this week. Now, there's a couple of special ones in there. Yeah, the, of course, uh, with like this Yorente card, of course, with the Renan Lodi that has been added to the game, when he becomes unextinct, if you will, I think there's potential for some of these cards to rise up just like last week, right? We saw like the Kempembe uh, continue to go up in price a little bit last week just with an insane amount of demand. So there's going to be a few cards this week that might maintain their price or go up a little bit. But again, I think that if you look at the prices of cards now and you look at the prices of where they're going to be on Friday, I think that this Monday morning time is again going to be an opportunity where you might be able to cash some of those things out with a nice little bit of a market rise after rewards which I'm gonna talk about what that's gonna to do to the market here in a bit. And then probably with this, if the 75 plus player pick comes out, that's 100% gonna be taking more coins off of this game as people are gonna do upgrade packs to try to hit guys like DeYoung to, to hit Werner, Fred, right? With those cards in packs right now, uh, and with the addition of Renan Lodi, Immobile, those, all those guys that are in packs right now, people are gonna be hitting player picks this week. Uh, to try to get those cards. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for this week in terms of Road to the Knockouts. I 100% think that we're going to get a promo on Friday. 100% think that it's going to be either Ultimate Scream or Rule Breakers. I guess technically there are, I guess, rumors about that whole 99 rated promo that EA talked about. We're going to have a video on that soon. Um, talk when that gets closer. I don't think that's yet though. EA actually previewed a promotion and we'll talk about that uh, here pretty soon. But that promotion, I think, is too early. They said that promo is coming in November, and of course, this week is the last week of October. So it just makes perfect sense for them to drop the Rule Breakers or Ultimate Scream, whatever it's going to be. It makes sense for them to drop it this Friday. I 100% think that there will be a promo, probably a loading screen on Wednesday or Thursday. Again, that seems to be just their new schedule by ending the second week of these two-week promos on a Wednesday uh, and taking the cards out of packs. Then it kind of creates like a cutoff then they can start uh, promoing their new uh, campaign or promo release that they're going to do on Friday. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market and stuff right now on this game. Now, I want to talk about what happened yesterday on Sunday and even into this morning on Monday, because I think there's a lot of interesting movements that we saw that we can learn from uh, from yesterday's movements on the market. First thing I want to talk about are the new cards added to packs. I mentioned this guy a little bit before, Renan Lodi, right? A lot of people are sniping this card at 100,000 coins. He is the only one that is extinct. EA messed up his price range. Uh, this card to me at 100,000 coins, I think he's worth more than 100K on this market. You look at Furlan Mendy, who's about 80 to 90,000 coins at the moment. The thing that this Renan Lodi card has that Furlan Mendy does not is A, he is a promo card with a lot less supply and a lot more hype with a dynamic image and Brazilian links. I think that right now with so many people using Marquinhos, people want to use Fred, the Brazilian links in this game right now are very, very demanded. And I think that even with like a Urente, right? Or with so, some of those La Liga left side links with the Vinicius Jr. inform, who's actually down tonight. I'm, I'm tempted to look into this card uh, at the moment because yes, a lot of people are running Prem teams because of Bernardo Silva or they're running some of those Premier League links. But also some of these uh, Brazilian cards and some of these, like this Vinicius was down at uh, 327, which was really low. That might have just been an undercut. 
Uh, but you know, I think you will see some of these links to Renan Lodi jump up, like the Orente, like the Vinicius that I mentioned, maybe some of your other Brazilian cards in this game. I feel like these cards will jump up. I think their prices will rise, but the Renan Lodi card has to be updated with its price range before any of that moves, right? Because right now, this card is basically unattainable on this game because the price range has not been updated and I hate waiting on price range updates but if you're somebody who wants to snipe Renan Lodi and sell him right when the price range does update I would imagine that they would probably increase his price max to like 250k or at least 200,000 coins when they update this price uh, on Lodi who's extinct at 100k I think this card should be more like 150 100 and maybe 150k that's kind of like my sweet spot where I feel like this card should be as it is a live item. You kind of think of where in packs where the Robertson card was. Uh, Andrew Robertson, of course, the live item, Rabo, uh, who has now exploded out of packs, um, literally up almost 100,000 coins from his mini release date uh, of last Sunday. So I guess a lot of eyes are on that run and Lodi as well for when he does become unextinct. But as of right now, what's probably going to happen with that card is the price is going to get updated. He's going to get listed down depending on how long it takes for them to update this Renan Lodi price uh it's going to be interesting because this is going to be a card that will be great to trade with with the links that he has so if you're somebody that's been sniping this guy to 100k make sure you're on it when the price range updates so you can sell like right away whenever that may be um i guess it's hard to kind of figure out when that price range is maybe you set like a, a foot bin price update if you've got foot bin uh premium and uh, it'll alert you when that price is updated. But even then, you probably just want to have notifications turned on uh, for some Twitter accounts, right? I, I try to tweet out, tweet out when this stuff gets price range updates as well so that you guys know if you're holding them that you can uh, list them up and get them out because then everybody starts undercutting. But I think this card becoming unextinct is going to make the market move this week because he has really good links. I don't even know how good he is in game, but he has really, really, really good links. And that means a lot for this market. Now, of course, I want to talk about ones to watches and informs as well, because we had a couple big ones to watch performances over the weekend and a lot of movements on these cards. Upa Makano is the first one I'm going to speak about. This guy was like 100,000 coins to assist and a clean sheet over the weekend for Bayern Munich uh, in their game. And this guy is heavily contended, heavily in contention for team of the week this week. So this is, this is what I want to show you with this is I want to show you these price fluctuations and how you can trade with these cards, because I've actually flipped now two of these, um, ones to watch items based off of these movements after he skied in price. So 102,000 coins, he goes all the way up to 155. It shows as his max here on, uh, on Footbin on the PlayStation price and then even to 136 on the Xbox. But on PlayStation, he went all the way up to 155, which right away after he scored, he was actually higher than that. He was in the 160s, 170, went back down to the 140. Because again, we've talked about this before, but what happens is everybody sells their car that they have of Oop Meccano, right? Or people bought the card up to 160, then they sell, and then that kind of creates another dip. So you have an initial rise, a spike, right? Where you have an opportunity to sell at the peak, you have a bit of a dip, and then a card that card reaches a dip again after people who are trying to make coins on that investment sell it off and take their coins. Then you see the card start to rise again with team of the week predictions coming out early in the week. And you see that card rise up into like Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, when of course people are buying it back up for the potential team of the week upgrade. That happened with Upa Makano and both David Alaba. Alaba's back up to 60k at the moment. So Alaba was 20k this morning. When he scored, he went all the way up to 64,000 coins on the PlayStation, went back down to 50k. I actually snagged myself one at 50,000 coins, and he is now up to almost 60,000 coins, right? So that's how you can make that that double dip, if you will. Buy a once to watch pregame, sell it in the hype after something good happens, a goal is scored or whatever, and then buy it a couple hours later as that market kind of trends back down. And then it starts to rebound back up. It works best, again, with meta cards, cards that have legit Team of the Week performances. But that is one way you can make coins almost every single weekend. It happened last weekend with Depay. And there's usually one OTW card per weekend or even in the middle of the week with when there's Champions League games. And I even think that during the middle of this coming week, there are some midweek games in some, uh, some leagues. So keep an eye out for that. And also, uh, the movement that we saw yesterday with the Inform Salah. I want to talk about that as well because basically these are some of the ways you can be trading on this game when you see in real life performances 
uh, translate into FIFA hype or FIFA panic selling, uh, one or the other. So Salah yesterday obviously had an insane game, Liverpool versus Man U, uh, and Salah is you know, expected to get another inform this week. This card was 700,000 coins pre-game. Yesterday on Sunday before the Man U Liverpool game, he dropped all the way down to 550k because people started selling this Salah because they're expecting him to get another inform this coming Wednesday. So they wanted to get this card out because like if another inform comes, that's going to make this card drop. So this card was panic sold, right? Keyword is here is panic selling. He was panic sold all the way down to 555,000 coins. He then eventually rebounded back up to just over 600k. I was able to snag one of these at basically his lowest point, right around the 555 range, right in here, and he rebounded back up. I sold mine at 600 flat, so a nice 15k profit. Literally, his card rose from 555 to about 600k in about 20 to 30 minutes. It was a very, very easy um, fluctuation that you could have traded with there. That is going to continue to happen as we further ourselves into the game, as more special cards are released. You know, pe people that have an inform. Uh, they're going to have another good game. Their inform, first inform is going to drop off. Again, the key here was that it, this card is one of the best, if not the best, right wing in the Prem. He's performing very well IRL. He, this card is just, he's got all three things we talk about, right? Popularity, he's meta, and he's rare because he's a high rated inform. So that was a great card if you have a higher budget uh, to trade with on a fluctuation. And those are just some of the things I wanted to point out regarding the market yesterday on Sunday. Uh, now, as we head into this morning, Monday morning, with the rewards that are being released, we, you know, the past couple Mondays, two Mondays ago, we saw a nice rise on the majority of the market. Golds, um, out of pack specials, a nice icons, a nice majority of the market went up a couple Mondays ago. Last Monday, the market rise was a bit I guess it was in certain specific areas. I think today after squad or after weekend league rewards are released this morning, Monday morning, right? Everybody who didn't claim their rewards over the weekend, I think you will see a rise on some players. Uh, I'm specifically watching these RTTK2 promo cards because last week, if you remember, this Isak um, from Monday rewards, he was 120K pre-rewards on Monday, rose up to 100 and basically 150K. It was a really, really nice rise on that ESOC last week. And also I think I think Robo uh, rose up a little bit last um, you know late Sunday night, early Monday morning UK time. Rewards happen, people get coins, they go out and they um, buy some of these cards to try them and to use them because that division rivals grind is there, right? People are playing rivals, they're playing foot champs qualification, there is gameplay demand. So I would watch some of these cards today, although they are in packs. If you're up around the rewards time, see what these cards are doing or, or you know some of these cards have dropped off a decent amount today. Uh, De Young is down like 50k from from where he was at the start of the day on Sunday. Fred is down a decent amount. Pick out some of the cards that you think might rise a little bit because people are going to try them. Like Amavi, El Sharawi linking uh, you know Tonali together and Immobile, the brand new card. And of course, even this brand new Immobile card. These guys are pretty rare. If I see Immobile down at like 120s tonight, I'm probably going to pick one up to try to flip because I do think you might see some of these RTTK Team Two cards rising up a bit this morning on Monday. I also think you will see people getting on the game, getting their rewards, and going to complete the Bernardo Silva SBC. And some of these cards that link to Bernardo Silva, Inform Phil Foden, Inform Gabriel Jesus, maybe some of your other uh, Premier League cards that have you know, had some movements already this week. I, I even look at Kevin De Bruyne because KDB, if you look at his graph on Footbin the past couple of days, He's been fluctuating. Like yesterday, he was 90K. He went up to 97,000 coins. I think there are some people that are playing KDB with that Bruno Fernandez card in their midfield. So if I were to see Kevin De Bruyne tonight uh, around 90K, or maybe if, if you can pick one up around rewards under 90,000 coins, I think that especially in the 80s on PlayStation, if you see this guy drop a couple K, he's a really rare card and he's, he's Manchester City links. That would be an, an item that I would keep my eyes on. Now, again, this Phil Foden is one that I would watch as well, and he's already started to rise. He was like 65,000 coins on Friday. I believe he's up into the 75K range now, and this guy's out of pack. So I could really see this Foden rising up a bit more as long as it's not over-invested, as I know there are some people 
that have invested in this card. Um, you know, just watch out for some of your Premier League links to maybe go a little bit higher this morning and some of your other meta cards, right? Like Kimpembe is almost always rising uh, on, you know, uh, Monday mornings. You know, you used to watch Dembele rise and you used to watch like, you know, Marquinhos out of packs, De Young out of packs. Sorry, Marquinhos is in packs now, but very hyped up. Uh, De Young out of packs has dropped a little bit. I believe he's like 100K uh, at the moment, which is kind of interesting, right? But again, I think part of the reason why this card has dropped off is because a lot of the hype has transitioned from the La Liga to the Premier League, but there's still some La Liga hype out there. So, you know, especially with uh, Renan Lodi, if he does become unextinct, if you will, then I'm, you might see more of these La Liga cards move up. But just watch out for a small market rise this morning. Icons are probably going to be good sales. Again, I do think the market goes lower this week. So if you do see a little bit of a rise on the market today, uh, I'm going to list this up for lazies. Wow, he's at 60K and his price range is 75. Interesting. I'm going to list this at 67 and see if we can get a lazy. Um, but if you do see a little bit of a rise this morning, I would 100% look to get out on some of those cards that if you have them in your team. Uh, I still have got my discard ones to watch is here chilling. I picked up an Akimi because he got a red card in PSG. I don't think PSG won. I did not see the end of that game. Let me double check that because that matters for the wins to watch upgrade. PSG, oh yeah, they drew nil-nil. So this uh, Hakimi, when he got a red card uh, after the game, this is the best right back in the game still. So that's why I went up, I, I, I picked up an Hakimi at 349,000 coins and he is right now back up to like 365. So if I get this to 370, uh, I will take my little bit of profit on this and call that good. And then probably look for maybe some low prices tonight around the rewards time frame. Uh, the weekend league rewards time frame. See if I can pick up any deals there uh, once I get some of these icon sales out. And hopefully a little bit of a rise into the morning this morning on Monday. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Again, today, 75 plus player picks. I'm expecting them to come out today. Maybe the team of the week pack, maybe not. We'll have to see. Um, but since the way they put that in the code as a team of the week player from team of the week one, two, five, or current, usually they say open it now or save it for later. I think it is going to come out this week at some point. So that is very, very interesting to me. And that's kind of the market outlook for this week, right? I do think prices are going to go lower. I think that 75 plus is going to come out today. If it's not the 75 plus, some sort of upgrade pack, and it will drain at least a little bit of coins off the market. I don't expect it to be too crazy of a week, though. As I mentioned, the second week of promos are usually a little bit quieter. Be on the lookout this week for some trading method videos, right? I got a couple of them planned, and they're going to be coming out. Icons, Road to the Finals, and uh, a special Thursday trading method with chemistry styles. That's a little bit of a hint uh, for what I did last Thursday that made bank, which I think is going to be a good trading method every single Thursday. So we're going to be talking about those later on this week uh, as we continue to build our coin totals and enjoy how this crazy market and learn and adapt how this crazy market is reacting this year on this game. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to put a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Photo Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.